friends to the part third of Next.js app record with login system series. So in this part, we are going to create the functionality of the login system and it's going to be very easy. We have set up the app right on the console in the previous video. So please pause that video first, then come here. And after that, we have created the UI of login as well as for the register as well for the login and then for the register and this form we have created a reusable form that we created in the previous video so now without wasting any time so let's get into the coding section and let's see how we can add the functionality how we can set up the auth in the app right and how we can use that auth to create the auth service so that we can complete our login system logic before we are going to set up the auth on the cloud so let's go to the app right console and here you have to go to the auth so you can see that we have already created the project name next.js and then we are going to the auth so if you don't know how to create the project then please pause the previous video first and the link will be given in the video description and now here first of all we are going to go to the settings and in the settings we are going to uncheck some methods so first of all by default these are the methods here and we just want the email and password and i'm going to remove all i'm going to disable all because we don't need those ones and disable this one and we don't need the jwt as well so we are going to work with the sessions only and if you want you can add more methods as well such as you can add amazon apple author and then many other methods are there so those you, you can add using this app right even zoom is also there and it's very good and better than the firebase as well now this one is done so this one is done now now we just have to create the service using the sdk that one is the auth sdk we have already created the client in the previous video and now we are going to set up the auth SDK and that we are going to set up in the particular service. So now without wasting any time, so let's get into it. First of all, we are going to the source folder. In the source folder, we are going to create one new folder. So that one is of the service one. This one is the service folder and in the service folder, we will be having the auth service. So first of all, we are going to create index file for that, index.ts and after that we are going to create a service file. So that will be auth.service.ts And here first of all, we have to import the client. Remember, in the previous video, we have created this config file of AppRite and here we have exported the client. So when I will open this one, so you can see we have exported this client here so now we are going to import that client in our auth service and this client we are going to use in the auth sdk so first of all let's create a class here so class auth service so we are going to use object oriented programming here and this class will export default as auth service and then here we are going to import client from dot dot slash config and in the config folder we have app right dot config and here let's create a one variable to get the instance and this one is the static variable and for that we will be having get instance method here so we have a public method and that method is the get instance method so what it is doing so we are checking here so it will be a static method as it will be a static method as we are assigning here a static variable so that's why the method should be static here and here we, are, here we are going to check if there is the instance available so then we are going to return the instance otherwise we are going to create a new instance there so here we will check if there is a no 
instance so here we are using the class name so we are using the class name to get this instance variable to access this variable because this one is a static variable and every static variable we have to get with the help of class name so here we are checking if the instance is null so then we are going to create this auth service then we are going to just return the instance so as it is a private variable so that's why it will not be accessible with the object of this class so that's why we have to first of all return this instance using the public method now here we will create two more public methods so first one will be login so in the login so actually let me do this one as a functional component functional component uh, arrow function arrow function and here we will be having the login so which will be uh, having email and password for now this will just alert this will alert email and password and same thing we have to do with the register one so here with register we need some more things here so first of all there will be the username so we need the username as well so what i'm going to do here so instead of passing so many variables so i'm just going to get only one variable so that will be the object and it will be any for now then we are going to create the type for this one as well and here i'm going to extract email and password from data also we need some more things such as we need the username we need username and the last one we need the name so that one will be the full name and here we are going to get all things here name username etc so now these are the functions here now our next step is that before creating the sdk before setting the auth sdk of the app right first we are going to create a new thing so we are going to create a object of this auth service and we are going to add that in our we are going to connect them in our components so first of all let's do that and then we are going to do with the functionality other functionality so just save this and here we are going to export it so export default as auth service from auth service so just save this so now i am in the login page here so when you will go to the app in that we have created the login page so i am under that login page and here what you have to do so first of all we have to import few things from the app so one is use state and second we have to import the type so what type will be so type is the form event so form event from react and then we are going to import the toast as well so import toast from react toastify import toast from react toastify so this one we need to uh, do the toast messages and at last we have to import the router as well so import use router from react navigation uh, next navigation so as we are using app router here so that's why we have to import it from next navigation not from the next router now let's move forward so here let's create the two states one for the email and second for the one we need for the email and second we need for the password and one thing we one state we also need for to show the loading so here we will create that state to show the loading so that will be the boolean one and then we are going to set up the router hook and after that we are going to create the handle submit so we are going to create the handle submit here so here if we will check if there is nothing if uh, first of all we are going to prevent default e dot prevent default and after that here we are going to see if 
everything is correct or not. So if email and password is not there, then we want please fill in all the fields. Just this one. Otherwise, what we are going to do, so we are going to just alert the email and password. Alert and JSON dot stringy file the email and password. Or let's create a data here. So pons data is equal to email and password and just we are going to alert that data for now. Just save it. So now from uh, from where we have to pass we have to call this handle submit. So for that we have to do one thing in the form here. So when you will go to the form so here we need one more thing so that is the handle submit button and after that in the fields we have to pass the data and its value as well so that state can be managed. So now let's do that. Here we will add two more things. So first of all the one thing we have to add so that one is the handle submit or let's add on submit. So on submit will be like any so let it be any or we can do one thing so it will be with e of any and it will return void. So void means it will return nothing. And then here we are going to set up like on submit. So what it will do? So it will just call on submit. And here it will be on submit. And second thing we need the loading one. So that will be the loading. So loading will be boolean. So that we have to pass there. If that one is if uh, state is loading or not. And then here we are going to pass the loading variable here as well and now we need to create one more component so that will be the loading spinner component and here we are going to create that loading spinner and it will be a function component and we are going to import the type from react and let's export this and after that as we are using tailwind so here we are going to just return this one uh, animation just save this so there is the border gray and hide this one rounded full and but we don't need the border gray so we need the border as white and just save this let's go here so from here we have to import that one so import loading spinner from loading spinner and here we are going to add the flex box flex items center and justify center and we need cap gap let v2 and here we are going to check if the user is loading if it is loading then we are going to add the loading spinner as well just save this now we need to do one more thing here so we have to as this one will be the control component so that's why we have to add the value as well so value value will be field dot value and after that on change so we will be having the different on change here as well now same thing we have to pass in this form here so first thing we have to pass the loading so let's pass the loading one so first on, on submit is there and then loading is there. On submit we have to pass this handle submit function and as we are controlling the submit one here also so that's why. And after that here we have to pass few things that one is the value so first of all we have to pass the value and value that we are getting from the state and then on change. On change what we are going to do here. So in the on change we are going to set email as e.target.value uh, it will be the target e.target.value and the same thing we are going to do it here for the password so e. e.target.value so let's pass the email again 
so it will be the same one set email e dot current target dot value current target so when we will type dot and we are getting a value here so now just save this so now we will add our auth service here so let's add that so first of all we are going to import the auth service import auth service from service and then let's go here and here we are going to call this service so first of all let's create an instance of this service so for that i'm going to create create auth service is equals to now we are going to get the instance of the auth service by dot get instance starting method so here what we are going to do so we are going to set up the loading as true and then we are going to just call the auth service dot login and then in the login we are going to pass the email and password just this one and after that what we are going to do so we are going to remove the loading so that is set loading as false just save this so now we are done with this and now let's test this so let's go to the login one so we have some issues here so you can see that you are importing a component that needs use state so please use use client so that's why we have to use a client here so as we are not working on the server so for that what we are going to do so we are going to move at top and here we are going to use use client just save this and let's go backward and here i think it is compiling it is compiling let's wait for the compilation to be done yeah compilation done and now you can see the login page here so when i will simply click on login so you can see that we are getting please fill in all fields so this means that our toast is working perfectly so here i'm going to write test uh, test t e s t you can see that we are getting one issue here so when ever i'm typing here so we are losing the focus so that should not happen so why it is happening like that so that should not happen so now let's see what we can do here so we have to modify our reusable component so that we can add the state only here and whenever user is going to submit the form we can get the data back so now without wasting any time so let's do that first resolving this issue is very simple so what we are going to do so first of all we are going to remove these all states so i'm going to remove these all states and here instead of e we are going to pass the data and in from the data we are going to get so data will be of any and email and password from data we are going to get data is of any and uh, here it will be new data so new data and here we are passing this one all just we are going to remove this now we are not having any state here only login only loading we have and we want that loading only and after that we don't need any value for this one so i'm going to remove this one as well and i'm going to remove this one as well so here what we are going to do so you can see that we have a name here so we have a name we have a label and after that we have a type here so here type will be small p and now what we are going to do here so we have a name so we will take name as our key to set the state so now let's go to the form back so now let's go to the form and in the form what we are going to do here so in the form we are going to create some states so here i'm going to use state and here i'm going to create a state here so state will be having the data so it will be having the data and we are going to set the data and it will be a format any and we are going to replace this any soon uh, to a particular interface or to a particular type so here we are getting an object 
now we have to create one object or we can create the array as well but we need to create the object here so what will be the object so by default let the object be null by default let the object be null so that's great so this object is now null here first we will check if there is fields if fields are there or not so if fields are there so then we are just going to reduce through all the fields and here we are going to return the fields so you can see that here we are creating the object so here we have the object here and after that in the object we are setting the field name is equals to this one otherwise here what we can do here we can simply return this field dot name and then its value so by default i think the value will be this one value will be this one so this one is the good uh let me do it again so field dot reduce and just returning this here we should not have any errors otherwise we will just return the null object so now when you will stringify the data here so json dot stringify this data i'm just going to save this so now let's see the changes so what the data we are getting here in the state so you can see that in the state we are getting email and password so when i'm going to the register as well so we are getting user id name email and password as well so now let's go back to the login again and here we have the state set up successfully so now here what we are going to do so here in the value what we are going to do so we are going to just type the data and field dot name and after that we are going to change here so here will be the we are going to set up our data with data and then field dot name just we are going to change its value and just save it and that's it and one more thing we have to do so we have to change the on handle submit as well so handle submit so here we are going to do e dot p by default e dot p by default and then we are going to just submit the data so here this will be the handle submit and this one will be the on submit just save this so now you can see the same changes so just click on login so you can see that we are getting please fill in all fields and here i'm getting i'm writing te test uh, still we have the same issue still we have the same issue so let's see where the issue we have yeah the so the issue is that you can see that here we are using math.random so whenever we are changing this so our field is changing so then this one is again re-rendering so that's why we will remove this so instead of that index is great so when i'm going to do this again let me reload this first and here i'm typing test at the rate test.com so now you can see that it's going and let the password will be anything like test at the rate one two three and just click on login so you can see that we are getting test at the rate test.com and test at the rate one two three so now let's set up the sdk there in the service auth sdk and then we are going to move forward and then copy paste to the register let's move forward to our service again so let's go to the auth service here and in the auth service now instead of alert we are going to create an sdk for the auth so that is very easy so first of all we have to import auth uh, so let's import that uh, from app right and we have to import auth 
now we have to call this uh, yeah uh, let's see this again it's account so instead of auth we have a sdk name as account so now we have to call this sdk here so we will be creating a private variable for that uh, so here we have private data member so we are going to create a private data member so that will be static account and equals to and here we are going to create a particular we are going to set up a account object here using our client that we have created previously so when you will hover it so you can see that we have this client etc now now let's move forward and let's console this so let's console this data so what we are getting so not in the register we are going to console this here console.log and then we are going to console the account this dot account we should get account here uh, yeah we have to use the class name as this one is static so that's why we have to use the class name auth service dot account then dot here we will get many other functions such as create so let's call the create here just save this or we have one more thing so that one is the create session as this one is the login so that's why this means that we have to create a session here so that's why we will be using create session here so for that we are going to use create email session you can see that we have create jwt create magic url session or session and then we have phone session phone verification so as we are doing the login one so that's why we have to create the email session first so we will create the email session now what i'm going to do so here i have console this one so just save this now let's move forward and here i'm going to open dev tools let's open that and I'm going to the console in the console here first of all let's add test editor test.com and password like one two three four five six seven eight and here I'm going to click on login so when I click on login so I'm getting this email alert here I click on ok but I'm getting an alert but I'm not getting anything in the console so what's the issue there so this should not happen so let's see why we have the issue here so let's go to the page.tsx again and here let's go above here you can see that we are logging this one but we are not getting any console so that should not happen so we should get the console here as we are in the login and we should get the console log but we are not getting any console log so I'm clicking on login still not getting any console log and when I will check here you can see that nothing is there so we can do one thing here so let's reload the page again let's try that let's try to fix it by reloading the page again now I'm just adding test at the rate test.com and password as test at the rate one two three and click on login so you can see that we are getting something here so we are getting something so that one is create email session so it is a function so what it is taking so let's move to the console again so it is taking email and password so we have to utilize that so we have to pass the email and password and then it is returning the awaiter so this means that this is a asynchronous function so what we are going to do so we are going to return this function only we are not going to return that like this is error this one is the error so we are not going to do that so we are going to make this login as asynchronous as login is already asynchronous but we want that we should handle all the errors in our page so we will not handle all the errors in this service service file here so we will 
handle all the errors in page.dsx. So for that, just we are going to return all service await all service dot account create email session. So just save this. Just save this. Or we can remove this await as well. We can just return this one. Just save this. Now when we will move here, so here you can see when I will type dot here and press control plus space. So here you can see the then method. So this means that all the asynchronous thing is shifted here. So we can handle all the errors, all the responses that will come here only. So let's try that. So here response can be anything. So if any response is coming, so then I'm going to console the response. So just console.log response. Otherwise, if there is any error, so then I'm going to console that error. So we are not going to use finally. And here we are going to console log the error and we will also donate if there is error or not. Here, whenever we will be having any error, we will be setting loading as false as well as here also if we are getting any response we are going to set loading as false just save this for now we will get only errors because we have not created any account in the auth for now so that's why we can't log in now let's move forward and here just click on login so we are still getting an alert so this we have to reload it again actually it is building it is compiling so here we have some issue here so we are getting some error like can't resolve encoding so sometime uh, you will get this error so module not found can't resolve encoding while using this app right what do you have to do so you can just cut this so i'm stopping the server here i will type here a command yarn add encoding so we have to install that one simply type yarn add encoding here so it is installing and after installing that just restart the server so now our server is running and you can see that when i will go here and i have added test as the test.com email and password as 123456 and just clicking on login so you can see that this loading is having more height and width but we are going to reduce that and but it's looking good so now you can see that we have one error here so that one is invalid credential and it is hitting the error one so it is hitting the catch one so see that in the catch but we have written console log this error tag and after that we have this error so now you can see that we have the error tag here and this one is the error so here in the error we will check if there is invalid credential or in the error if anything is there so just we are going to do that is invalid email and password invalid credentials so if invalid credential is there so then we will just write invalid credentials error so we will show that so let's do that so i'm going to copy this in invalid credential here and now moving here and here i'm going to check if error dot contains so if error contains this one invalid credentials or error dot includes invalid credentials so then we are going to do something so that is toast dot error so invalid credentials or we can just do thing invalid password or email so you can do like that as well just save this just do this and after that if the user is getting logged in if the user is logged in so what we are going to do so we are just going to uh, first of all let's just console of this one this response only 
just save this now we have invalid credentials error and also we have to reduce the spinner so here what i'm going to do so i'm going to just write like i think it would be better save this and let's go back and here just click on login so it's still there so i think it is we have to reload it again so it is loading so now here test error there test.com and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and just click on login so you can see that it is good but we have one error here so let's see what's the error so error is we have error includes is not a function so we have this error so this should not happen because it is not a string so that's why it is giving us this error so what we can do here instead of this we can do just cut this one and here we will check if error dot response is there and we will check if the data is there in the response and data dot include this invalid credentials includes this invalid credentials then we are going to show the message so that one is invalid credential and we have to reduce this mode as well so just add it as 5 and 5 and let mx2 be 2 just save this now just preload it again and here I am adding password email 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and just click on login now it's looking good and we should get a toast message here so we should get a toast message but we are not getting any message here so this is actually with 401 so we have some issue here so you can see that we are getting 401 as a status but there is some issue So what's the issue is there? So instead of data, the issue should be in the message. So we will check that now with the message. So this is how we can debug the error like this as well. And we can handle the error like this as well. So now we can start it again. Just click on login. Now you can see that we are getting invalid credentials. So this means that error.message is working perfectly. So error message includes invalid credentials so this means that there is an error now let's do the same thing with the register one now we are going to register the user so let's do that so we are going to just copy and paste now so for the register it is very easy so here we don't need any form event so what i'm going to do so i'm going to copy this all so i'm going to copy this just copy this uh, so we don't have to cut this we have to copy this and let's paste it here as well so we have a use state and we are using that so we need the client for that as well so that's why I'm going to copy and paste this client here now I'm going to copy this all stuff so as it will be same so just copy this and we are going to paste it here so here we have handle submit so we have to pass these all in the form we have loading and then we have handle submit so these two we have to pass and we are done so we are not able to find any form so i think i forgot to copy that as well so we need the form as well and just paste it here so we have the form as well now we don't have any issues so now you can see that we have a name as user id name email and password so we should get this as a data in the handle submit so that's why we are going to export this so that will be the user id and after that we have to export the name as well and here we have to check all these if user id and name is also present here and then here instead of login what we are going to do so we are going to register the user 
So register the user. Before that, we have to create the data as well. So let's create the data object. So we have a data object. It will be email, password, user ID, and name. So it will be user data. So user data. Now we are going to pass that user data to the register one. After that, here we will get like invalid credentials. So we don't have to do like that. So just we are going to console uh, here the message. So console dot log error error dot message error dot message. We are going to console. Otherwise, just we are going to console log the response. So we have the user data here. Now we have to copy the object. So I'm going to copy the object. We are going to save this login as well. And now let's move to the auth service. So we are done with this now. So we are in the auth service. So in the auth service, we are extracting this thing from the object. And after that, just console this. So we are going to just console dot log, not the data. So, but we are going to console the auth service dot account. So actually we already have the account. So, but we are going to use that as well here. And here we are going to create the account. So you can see that we here we have update session like that. But here we are going to create the account. So create the account. So but it is asking. So when I'm hovering on this uh, create account, so we are getting some uh, as it is also written in TypeScript. So we are getting all the types and all the things that we have to pass. So first thing we have to pass is user ID and second email and then password and after that we have to pass the name and this name is optional. So mainly important thing is user ID, email and password. But we are getting all things. We are making all things mandatory. So just pass that one by one. First of all user ID and then we have to pass email. Then we have to pass password. And after that, we have to pass the name as well. So let's pass the name as well here. And just I'm going to return this. Return. And just save this. So we are getting, we are returning this create account to the register. So now let's see if uh, we are registering the user in the response what we are getting and in the error what we are getting. So first of all we are going to register the user and then we are going to try to register the same user and let's see what the error is. So here let's the username as test username and full name as test user email as test at the test.com and password like 1234567 one two three four five six seven and eight and just click on register so you can see that we are getting this so this is because we have to reload it so let's reload the page So page is reloaded so we have to type the same thing test username test user test email and then one two three four five six seven eight password and just click on register so now you can see that we are getting the id email name and everything we are getting the data so this means that user is registered so now we can redirect this user so when the user is registered and we can get the session to get the user data so that we are doing, but let's handle the error as well. So I'm registering this user again. It is already registered. I'm registering this again. You can see that user with same email is already exist, already exist. If somewhere already exist is coming. So just we have to use or we can simply return this message So simply just return this message. So if I am changing this test at, at the test2.com email but my username is same so we should also get an error you can see that the user with same email already exists so we have the username here so username is same so that's why the issue is coming 
So just we are going to return this message. So we are going to toast dot toast dot error. So instead of invalid credentials, we are going to return error dot message. Just this thing. And whenever the user is getting registered, user is registered. So we are going to set loading as false. And after that, we are going to push the user to the login page so that user can log in. Just save this. Done. So we are done with this. So if the user is registered, so let's register the user with test username 2 and test user 2 and here test either test2.com password is same. Just click on register. So now we should redirect to the login. Now you can see that we are redirected to the login. But before that we have to pass some messages. So let's pass those messages. Register success. Registration success. Registration successful. And now you can log in. So just save this. So it will give us this test message. Uh, now let's move forward. And uh, let's see how we can get the session here. How we can get the session. So before that, so let's do the login one as well. So let's go to the login. So here, whenever the user is logged in, so whenever the user is logged in, so what we are going to do? So we are going to create a toast message. So login successful. And after that, we are going to push the user. So we are going to push the user to home page. And there we are going to get the session. So now let's log in the user. So let's log in the user. So email as tester is a test.com and password as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Just click on login. So now we should get redirected to the home page. Now you can see that we are redirected to the home page. But we are still seeing this login and register here. So this we should not get. So we should get a logout button and a welcome to the user and also one more button to create a to like create a user for the current operation so also we will handle that button in the next video as we are going to start the current operation in the next video but we have to show that here so now last thing is pending to show that thing so let's do that and let's end this video then we are going to move forward to the next video that one is the crud operation of this one to get the session it's very easy task so what we are going to do so we don't need any login and also we don't need the register one so here we are under the auth service so in the auth service we are going to create one more class method so that will be first method actually we are going to create for the logout as well so let's first of all create that so here what we are going to do so we are going to just return like delete session and that one is the current one. So just we are going to read the current session that we have created to log out. So that's very easy. So now let's move forward to get the account. So to get the account, it's very easy. So just we have to use return auth service dot account and then we are going to just get the session. So we are going to just get the session and here we can pass the session ID as well. But here, just in the get session, we need the current session. So that's why we are going to pass this current session. And the second method is just to use the get here. So get, what this get will use, the get the currently logged in user data as JSON object. So we want that one. Just click on all service.account.get and then just save it. So we have log out. Now we have get account as well. So what we are going to do. So we are going to directly go to the navigation bar. So just go to the navigation bar. Also, we can get this in the layout as well, but we are not going to do that. So we are going to directly to the component and under the component, we are going to do that. So as we are going to use the state here, so that's why we have to use the use client here. So use client and here, we are going to import use state from use state from react 
and also we need the use effect here so that is use effect and here we are going to one create one state so that one is of the user so user can be of anything and here we have to create the object so here what we are going to do so here I'm going to create one new constant so const and it will be having the fetch user fetch user so it will be the asynchronous one and after that here I'm going to import the auth service from the service and here let's create the object of the service and then we are going to get the account so just click on get account and we are done with that so after getting the account we will set the user to this one so we will check if the user is there otherwise the user will be null if user is there that's okay otherwise set the user as null here and here just we are going to fetch the user and after that if we got the user so then I think it will be better if we will console log the user so just console log the user and save it so now let's see the changes so let's go here and let's see the changes so it's rebuilding so let's see if it is compiled yeah it is compiled and we have not any error and just reload this so let's reload this and let's see what we are getting in the console so you can see that in the console we are getting the user which is having dollar sign id and it is having created ad updated ad email email verification done name and everything so this will be kept in the user one so here we will check if the user is there so then just we are going to log in the user so if user is there if user is there so then we are going to do something so if user is not there so let's use the fragment here so here we have the fragment and under the fragment we will be having these two allies and here also we need one fragment and under this fragment we will be having three allies here so let's add three allies and one more ally we need so this li we need for the one so that one is for the paragraph tag so let's add that so here we will be having the paragraph and here we will be having the name as welcome user but instead of that here we will be have the span so that is span and in the span we will be having user dot name so only user dot name we will have and then just do this one so we will not have any slate like this so we will be having the text as white so text as white and in the span we will be having the text as bold font as bold here just this one and after that we have the link so link this one to the logout but instead of this link we will be having the button so we will be having the button and here I think we should create an instance here that will be better and in the button what we are going to do so on click just we are going to log out the user and here we will add just log out and after that we have this one here to create the user so for that for now I'm just adding the edge reference to this one only but here we will make this one as a button so we will make this one as a button so here we will create the background so background let it be uh, blue 500 and then uh, we need the text on the hover this one and just save this so here instead of login we will be having the add user so add user just save this now we can see the changes here so you can see that we are getting the add user here log out like this one but here what I'm going to do so here let's do one thing here we have the font bold uh, we need the padding as well 
so let it be p by 2 and p x 4 and we need the rounded one and after that focus or outline we did none just save this so we have this user here <laughs> add user so for now when i'm clicking on this so it is redirecting to the same one so now when i'm going to log out this so we should get the user as null so it is getting logged out but the user is not getting null so this should not happen but when i'm going to the inspect element so you can see we are getting the object here but when i'm going to log out this so we are not getting anything but we are getting the error here so this means that exception so missing scope so because scope is not there so this means that we don't have any session here so when i'm reloading this so you can see that login register is not there but we don't have any session so that's why we was getting any error so we have to resolve this error so first of all let's log in the user to the same email and password one two three four five six seven eight and just click on login here the user is logged in but after log out we have to do something here as well so here what we are going to do so here we are going to check if the auth service dot log out and we have a then response here so if we have a then so just we are going to set user null and we are going to toast the message so we have to import the toast as well so that is log, log out success and if we have any error if we have any error like anything so just we are going to get that error toaster message that error message and error can be anything now let's just import the toast from react toastify just save this one and just click on log out so let's click on log out and we are getting log out successful log out is successful but still the state is not getting null how is it possible state is still not getting null logout is successful but state is not getting null so this should not happen so let's reload it again now we have the login like this one test error the test root com one two three four five six seven eight and we have the error as well so error is that is user role gas missing scope it is missing the scope so this means that we have to handle the error here as well so we have to use try catch here so try if we are trying this yes and now we are going to catch the error here so actually we will get this type of error here so that's why i'm telling you how you can handle this error so just if there is catch then just we are not going to do anything so just set the user as null just save this so you will not get any error again so just log in the user login successful so we have the user here but whenever the user is getting logged out so you can see that we are not having any error anymore we are not having any dead error anymore so that's good that's good so this is how we can use app right to create a login system and this is how you can handle a user you can handle a user or you can handle all the errors that you can get while creating a session or while creating a reusable component like that so i hope you have learned uh, in this video so much and in the next video we will start working with the database sdk so we will set up the database and then we will move forward to create the UI of this cloud operation and as we have already created the reusable form so that's why our half task is done and the major task is done so for today this is enough if you have any queries please comment in comment section i will definitely respond to that at last thanks for watching please like subscribe and share i will see you in the next video